Hello, welcome again to LearnSigns.com. This is lesson number nine. Lesson number nine. We're going to talk about words dealing with learning or school words. All right, this is school. School. Take your, your palms and you're just pressing them together. You're actually hitting the, the palms themselves, not clapping, but the palms of your hands are hitting each other. School. And it's a five or it can be a B. Either way, school. Learn. Learn. You take the information out of the book. You have a book here in front of you. Take it out of the book and you put it in your head. Learn. Learn. Study. Study. The information's in the book, and you're going to read it and pull it up into your head. Study. It starts, it goes back and forth. It's not really start in one place and go back to the other. It's back and forth. Study. Or you'll see it just with the fingertips waving without the hand moving back and forth. Study. Understand. 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 It's like the light bulb goes off. You take it and you're just going to flick your your one up. Understand. Oh, I understand. Understand. Misunderstand. Misunderstand. You're going to take your V, going to touch one finger to your head and then the, twist it around to the other one. I start with my index finger and I twist around to my middle finger. Misunderstand. Confused. Confused. You put a confused look on your face and you take your, your claw hands you're going to twist them around. Confused. I don't understand. Confused. Now you could also, for misunderstand, you could say not understand. That's fine. Uh, many, many signs, you'll have a, a negative of a sign. There might be a specific sign for it. Or you can just say not and then the sign itself, not understand. Think, think, think. You can poke your head or give it a little twist here. Think, hmm, I'm going to think about that. Think. No. Now, think or thought is one finger. No is your whole hand. This is K-N-O-W, no, as in to know something. It's going to be all four of your fingertips here. To know, no. Remember, remember, you're going to take your thumb of your A hand and you're going to start right here at your forehead like think and then you're going to push out to stay. This is the word to stay or you'll sometimes see it with the Y's. A thought that stays. Remember, remember. A thought that stays. Remember. Forget. You're going to wipe your head clean. Forget. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. I forgot. Wipe your head clean. Forget. Mean or meaning. Now, this isn't mean as in an angry person. This is mean uh, as in what something signifies. Mean. You're going to take your, your V again. You're going to poke it into your, the palm of your other hand and then twist it around. Mean or meaning. What does it signify? What does it mean? Mean or meaning? Teach. 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 This is taking the information from my head and I'm going to put it into your head. Teach. And it goes from big to small. It's like I've got lots of information and a little bit of it gets into you. Teach. Teach. Teacher. We're going to learn a special sign here. This is teach, and then this sign is called the agent sign or the person sign, the person that does the action. So this is teach, and then you do person, a teacher, teacher. You'll see this with a lot of different types of signs, many times with the ER ending, but not necessarily. Um, and these are signs that are used to show someone that does the action. So to teach or teacher. Test. Test. 
a couple of different ways you could do this. You'll see this with just one finger, a test, like just like question we talked about before, question or test. I do it with two hands. And sometimes you'll see exam, something that's bigger than just a, a test. You'll see it done with the five hands coming out, like you got a bunch of questions. Exam. You don't have to make that distinction. Test. Lesson. You've seen me do this quite often. Lesson. Lesson. This can also be list. Now this is, you're going to take your, your bent um, B hand. You're going to turn it with the palm towards you, and then you're going to work down your other palm. So lesson, it looks like this. Lesson. Lesson. Or list. Need or must. Need or must. It's just your X, your X hand, and you're going to give a little, like you're hanging it on a hook. Need or must. I need to do that. I must do that. You have to do that today. Need or must. Write. Write. This is as in to write a letter. Not write correct, but write a letter. Write. Pass. Pass. Now this is an odd sign. This is the word like to pass one car passing another, but it's also used to, to pass a test. Pass a test. You're going to you, here's the here's the standard, and you're going to go past the standard. You're going to be successful in accomplishing that. Pass the test. Fail. Take your V. You turn it upside down on your on your other palm, and you're going to take it out and down. Fail. It looks like two weeks, except two weeks you go straight across. Remember that when we talked about time, two weeks. Except this one, you put the, the back of your hand on your palm. You're going to go across and then down. Fail. Fail. To fall off. To fail. Hard or difficult. Hard. Hard. You do your two, what I call my snake fingers, two hands with the, the crooked V, and you're going to bang one onto the other. Hard or difficult. Sometimes you'll see people do their wrists. Um, I do it right on the, the V's themselves. Hard, difficult. There's various ways to do that one. Easy. Easy. It's not hard. It's easy. And you just pull up your hand easily. Okay? Go through them again. School. Learn. Study. Understand. Misunderstand. Confused, confused, think, know, remember, forget, mean or meaning, what does that word mean, teach, teacher, teacher, test, test. Lesson, lesson, must or need, write, I'm going to write the letter, pass, pass, pass a test, fail, fail, hard, hard or difficult, easy, that lesson was easy. This is lesson number nine. So if you go to learnsigns.com slash nine, you can find this lesson. And I'll have the, the list of all the words that we talked about in this lesson today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.